What's up Church Media Pros? Today I'm talking about Blackmagic ATEM switchers and which one is right for you. Welcome back to Church Media Pro. My name is Aaron Ward and on this channel we talk about all things pro church media production and advertising. And today we want to talk about the Black Magic ATEM switchers. Now there's a multitude of these guys. I'm going to go over for, uh, four specific ones. I'm going to mention a couple others and I want to help you find out which one is right for your application. So let's jump on into it. I'm going to start first thing with the uh, ATEM Mini Pro. Actually, this is just the ATEM Mini, but they're pretty similar in, uh, in capabilities, guys. So the ATEM Mini is actually a pretty great place to start. Although I have a couple gripes about it, to be honest with you. So first things first, um, the audio inputs on this are where it's lacking the most. So uh, sh just want to show you what we have here. We have two, um, uh, you know, 3.5 millimeter inputs on this guy and as well as we have the uh, the HDMI inputs as well. Now it will take audio in via the HDMI if, as long as the audio is embedded. So if you run audio into your camera, say you have your front of house console and you run your audio into the camera from there and then send the camera feed up to a switcher, that will work just fine guys but if you want to integrate uh, external audio if you have a mixer in, in your uh, you know video production booth i highly recommend skipping this version and moving up to uh, the the next three that i'm going to talk about specifically because the uh, the mic one and mic two on this though they're uh, they're uh, uh, nice inputs they are uh, first of all their line input they don't do microphone input levels um, which means you have to give it a pretty hot signal and if you don't it'll create noise um, and two they actually auto adjust they auto gain there is gain faders inside of the software that comes with this and when you when you uh, open up the software the uh, the black magic uh, uh, ATEM control software it's going to look different depending on which uh, specific switcher you have connected so um, the downloads are all the same but um, with with the the same or different connected devices you will have a different interface um, the the great thing about the uh, the mini though is you get uh, XLR or sorry um, EQ uh, dynamics like expansion and uh, you get a compressor and a limiter on each channel including the master which is fantastic which you don't always get with all of the different Blackmagic products um, these these ATEM switchers but um, beyond that I don't really recommend this one it does have nice tactile buttons on it I'll give it that uh, that's better than some of the the ATEM switchers I've used um, this one does let you cut and auto and fade to black and do some overlay kind of stuff guys which is fantastic but this is more for, in my opinion, somebody who's doing a podcast, somebody who's, who's uh, got you know multiple cameras going for some you know live stream interviews or something like that, rather than a church production. In my humble opinion, I think you can do better with just bringing in uh, multiple it like uh, multiple cameras into your laptop or computer. Um, because this thing doesn't, and none of none of the uh, none of the ATEMs that I'm going to talk about today actually will do encoding for you. So you're really just switching um, before you bring your signal, your output signal into whatever you're using as an encoder. A lot of you are going to be using, you know, OBS on your laptop. Maybe some of you are going to be using, um, you know, uh, just straight to Facebook, straight to YouTube kind of uh, applications where uh, there's not really an application. You're just connecting a switcher and YouTube or Facebook sees it as a webcam. Um, some some of you will have hardware encoders. We, uh, we used a hardware encoder for quite a while. Um, in fact, we used a Blackmagic originally. We moved on to a Videon and then moved all the way up to now we're using the Resi system, which is uh, my highest recommendation. I have a couple other videos uh, regarding Resi, so check those out if you're interested. But this one in particular, good way to get multiple cameras in, good way to be able to switch them on the fly. But I think um, unless you know, I, in, unless you really need those tactile buttons, um, I recommend just using uh, a direct input 
um, multiple direct inputs and using something like Ecamm Live, I think there's more functionality and more, uh, and, and that's what I'm using right now, guys. I'm using Ecamm Live for this recording. So um, I can switch between, you know, uh, being picture in picture. I can switch to camera one and just have that full up. You can set up different scenes and uh, I think Ecamm Live is actually better for these sorts of applications if if you're uh, if you're just getting uh, the budget sort of thing. I mean, get get yourself a, uh, a an HDMI to USB C adapter for your input from an uh, from a DSLR or from whatever um, video camera you might have, and and you can use you know if the the Black Blackmagic uh, Mini ATEM Mini only has four inputs, so your and your laptop is likely going to have four inputs as well, four USB Cs, um, so. I highly recommend just skipping this one to be honest with with most of you guys. Um, now moving on, we uh, we use this in particular. We've uh, in, at my church, we actually have the 4K version, which is a full rack space, which uh, makes it a little bit nicer to use. But the full full rack space version doesn't have the tactile buttons like this one does, and this one will actually switch via the front panel, which is really nice. Um, we have to rely on the the software to switch which can be an issue guys so um, the one uh, Nice thing about these first three that I'm going to talk about here is each one of them has actual switching buttons on the front panel of the switcher where if you get the any of the older um, uh, black magic ATEMs you don't get you can choose your source and you can see a little version of your source but you can't actually switch using the front panel so ATEM mini is nice that way this guy and the the full-fledged 4k with the the t-bar that you can uh, switch on which I'm going to show you in a second are fantastic I want to address audio on this guy this one nice has very nice uh, professional XLR ins. You get two channels of XLR as well as SDI inputs, which you don't get on the ATEM Mini. So if you have any cameras that are running SDI, or if you want to run longer uh, longer distances, I highly recommend you switch, um, you know, HDMI to uh, SDI, and I'll put some links to those boxes in the description so that you're getting a quality single over, over longer distances. I don't ever do HDMI longer than 50 feet if I can avoid it. And I'll switch it to uh, to SDI at the at the camera position, and then run um, SDI to my switchers because I think it's a stronger and a, uh, a a longer distance without degradation of the quality you'll get out of those longer runs with SDI. So um, both all of these have Ethernet uh, cables that you can plug in. Um, this one has a uh, a remote, which is kind of cool, um, and this one actually gives you a multi-view output. Over here, which gets you the ability to see what's going to all of your cameras, all the inputs that you don't get on the um, <clears throat> the mini does not have the uh, the multi view out. It has just one HDMI out. Um, you can uh, get. I mean, you, what you see is what you get here. You have four inputs and one output, right? For for video in particular. So. Um, one thing that's uh, nice about this, the last thing that's nice about this is that the, the power is a nice, um, you know, dedicated AC power. You're not trying to find a, a uh, specific adapter like this one needs. So you have that specific power adapter for the ATEM Mini Pro where you can uh, mix and match power um, on these uh, on these larger units, more professional units. So, um, moving on from there. Oh, there's also reference in and uh, SDI multi view out is pretty nice um, as well if you have those sorts of monitors available to you. But um, an aux is also nice too. But this one is probably the most ubiquitous, guys. Um, it's a little bit more expensive, running at just three thousand dollars, which is pretty darn cheap for a full-fledged video mixer. This one has, I believe, oh, I think it's just one ME on this one. Um, ME's are mul uh, mixing engines. Um, I would like to see, I think there's a version of this with two ME's, which is fantastic. You're getting up into the uh, same caliber as maybe a Ross video switcher with, with a two ME um, on these, but this is just nice to have full on tactical buttons. All your transitions are right there at your fingertips. You have, um, you know, your, your fader for switching, which is fantastic. And then your outputs on this guy are much more functional as well. You just get our, uh, your inputs rather. You have a ton of SDI inputs. What's interesting about this is you don't get any HDMI inputs on this one. So you do have to, uh, 
switch everything to SDI. All your cameras have to come in, in SDI on this on this view, uh, this, uh, specific switcher. So just be uh, aware of what the necessities are there. Um, that is better for 4K in general to use the SDI connection. But um, overall, you you know you got similar um, two XLR inputs. Um, audio comes in on every single SDI as long as it's embedded. You can use a uh, audio embedder for SDI. We use that at our church for um, for our Resi stream. In particular, we're running multiple uh, mixes from the band to our to our campuses, and we embed the audio uh, via the Blackmagic. Um, audio to uh, 4K actually, 4K um, um, SDI converter boxes. So we're running that to our Resi uh, encoders. So, um, and then last but not least, guys, this is um, the the 2ME version basically of the of the Studio 4K. So you're getting two mix engines, which gives you a lot more flexibility to do picture in pictures and overlays uh, directly in the box using the sources that you have. So. Just more multifunctional guys. This one does not have uh, HDMI ins either. We do have at our church a, a 4K version of this box that the, uh, the um, HD version does come in. You can find it still. I don't know if they still uh, support it or sell it, but they do have a version of the Blackmagic um, uh, one rack unit version, one ME version of uh, that does 4K, but also has HDMI inputs as well as SDI inputs, which I think is super helpful for uh, for most churches. Uh, as more, uh, many more cameras, especially affordable cameras, have HDMI outputs rather than SDI outputs. So, with that, guys, I hope that helps you uh, kind of break down which uh, which switcher is best for you. I think most people are going to be the most happy with the uh, Television Studio HD. Um, most uh, most places don't let you stream in higher than uh, 1080. In fact, uh, most people are still using 720 on Facebook because it's the most reliable. In fact, you have to, I think you have to get special permission from Facebook internally to get an HD or a, t a full HD 1080p stream to Facebook. So um, whether you're, you're sending a, uh, Facebook 1080 or not, it's likely being reproduced in 720 um, on, on the viewer end. So. Um, you don't have to go higher than 1080p. Uh, YouTube will let you stream in 4K, but it's a little bit um, intensive, and I and I really don't think it adds a lot to the experience because most people are watching YouTube on their phone or on their laptop. Now, some people certainly watch it on their TV, but again, when you're when you're using cameras in your worship set, most most people are not using 4K, 6K, you know, or higher cameras in their worship environment. Most of them are using 1080p anyway. So just going down to uh, this uh, this HD version of the ATEM switcher is probably the most likely that you guys will want to choose. And having those XLR inputs is so important, guys. I can't stress enough how important it is to just switch, just just jump over the uh, the um, the A ATEM Mini and get yourself the HD. Yes, it's more expensive. Yes, it's a thousand dollars total, but you'll you'll it'll grow with you for a longer period of time. So with that, guys, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you the next one. God bless.